If I were to summarize why I'm so enthusiastic about 3D printing in one word, it would be the word beautiful. I know that sounds a little weird, but I find so many things about 3D printing really, really beautiful. Let me explain. About a year and a half ago, my cousin gave me his old 3D printer as an old Snapmaker printer. And I used it a couple times, but just right from the get-go, I was just amazed by the precision of what a 3D printer does. I mean, this is a culmination of thousands of engineers and 3D printing enthusiasts and companies really putting their minds together and developing a technology that now you can buy for just a couple hundred bucks and get into. I just find that kind of attention to detail and that kind of precision really beautiful especially when it's accessible. It feels almost like the replicators from Star Trek where they could convert energy into matter. It's not quite that, but it's really close. I find so much beauty in the actual filament that you can use. There's a lot of different colors, a lot of different types of filament now. My favorite right now is called PLA Wood. I love Bamboo Labs PLA Wood. This is a design I made, it's a butter dish and I have the increments of the tablespoons in the cups on the side. And I designed this, I can't believe I did, but I printed it out in PLA wood. It just has a smooth, wonderful, very matte finish to it that I really like. After I upgraded my printers this year to a X1C and an A1, I got really motivated to start modeling stuff myself. And so I started learning Fusion. And so I just downloaded it and there's a free version you can get started with and I started watching free YouTube tutorials. And the amount of help and support I've gotten along the way has been tremendous. And now if I find something broken around the house, like a clip or a widget or a soap dish I wanna make or something like that, I can quickly just design it myself and make it. You have no idea how exciting that is to just be able to make and fix things around your house on the fly like that. And of course now, because I can design things, I can make little gifts for people, either my design or somebody else's design and print them out. And now I have gifts for holidays and birthdays and stuff. I find that so beautiful. At Thanksgiving, I designed some napkin rings and put everybody's name on it around a uh, cloth napkin. Of course, I always share my designs online for anybody that wants to download it. And I get a huge amount of enjoyment from people downloading my stuff and letting me know that it's exactly what they're looking for. And if you don't think I'm weird by now, um, I find it really beautiful to make the thumbnails for my design. So when I go in and actually craft a thumbnail that's gonna be presented with my design when I upload it, I spend a lot of time and I think about it and I look at a lot of other thumbnails and I have a collection of other people's thumbnails. I love the amalgamation of 3D printing hobby and videography and photography, all kind of in one. I think it's such a cool art. You know what the most beautiful thing in 3D printing has been for me? This might sound ridiculous, but it has been this design, this stag and this little doe, these deer here, designed by a guy named Aaron Pozar, who generously put it out online to download. And it is one of the most elegantly crafted and designed sculptures I've ever seen. I'm more impressed by this than a lot of the mechanics and the articulating arms and the dragons and stuff. This is what impresses me. This kind of attention to detail, it's gorgeous. You would not believe the amount of time I have just sat staring at these objects in wonder and going, that is just beautiful. There's just perfection in that. And this inspires me to be a better artist and a designer and to give back to the world like Aaron did through this tiny little model. This is the kind of thing that really gets me excited. So yeah, what I love about 3D printing is the beauty. It's just beautiful. The precision, the technology, the art, the creativity, the solutions it solves. It's just a beautiful thing. And if you don't have a printer, what are you waiting for? It's just a few hundred dollars to get one. It's not a very expensive hobby at all. Cheers.